What is going on, everyone? Badger here. Make sure to like and sub, and let's get into this. Just when I think I'm out, they pulled me right back into it. Uh, Charmino Bechino is getting her Ray movie, A New Beginning. We thought it was a rumor. No, no, no. No, I mean, or that maybe, you know, Bob, after all the things that are going on, and maybe this will change. I don't know, but that, that they might cancel it and course correct. No, they're going to double down. Charmino Bates, you know, is going to get her movie, and she's talking about it. She's met with all the people. So here we go. Charmino Bates, you know, director of the upcoming movie Star Wars New Jedi Order, or we've heard called A New Beginning, speaking to Sirius Stars XM 109. And here we go. Let's just hear her say it herself. Sometimes you walk in the footsteps of people and giants who've created worlds. And in the case of Star Wars, George Lucas's world and the filmmakers that have walked in his footsteps have set this world that they want. Well, at least she didn't call uh, George a toxic white male, which is a lot going on right now. Uh, so good. She, she did call him a giant young viewers to sort of walk into and have an understanding of the world. And at the heart of it, it, for me, is Ray Skywalker, is Daisy Ridley and her story and taking her on an adventure. And it's funny that at the heart of Star Wars, to her, would be Daisy Ridley, Ray Palpatine, who literally was the one that didn't actually line up with youth, did not bring in the young, did not bring in anyone, in fact, actually ended up alienating people and that's the one they're choosing that she thinks Ray is going to be the great unifier and the most interesting one. Very interesting. Okay. Uh, to a Jedi Academy and sort of creating a world that um, is a nat natural dovetail to the story that we've seen her go through the last three episodes and working with Lucasfilm and Kathleen Kennedy and and uh, the team over there in breathing life to characters that everyone loves. Everyone loves Ray, and I hope they get Maz Kanata and she could finally tell that good story for another time. This is going to be another bastardization of the story. It's going to be another ripping off of the can. God knows what we're going to be after Acolyte with Anakin and who actually is the chosen one in Immaculate Conception. I mean, obviously it's Anakin in Star Wars. I'm talking about Disney Star Wars and whatever disgusting little revisionist history they're doing um i suspect we will find out that the force is in fact female in the acolyte and that's how they're able to do the immaculate conception because the force lesbian space which is on the commune commune there uh that's how they were able to do their little trick uh, at least i suspect that's what they're going for and uh, that'll be continued in this movie with ray and her jedi order her female jedi order watch just a guess just a guess not trying to give them ideas and has fallen in love with and finding new characters that the next generation of moviegoers will fall in love with i've had conversations and just based on those disney uh tapes that we've been going over uh definitely won't be any white uh men in this new coming we very very much can guarantee that one uh with jj abrams um i've had conversations with george lucas and then of course dave filoni uh <sighs> Conversations with J.J. Abrams, I can only imagine. Conversations with George Lucas, I wonder if he stopped laughing during it. And the conversations with Filoni should be the key ones. The chief ruiner and deceiver is Dave Filoni. I know some of you have some holdouts, but I, tr I trust you. Tell me, I'm telling you. Trust me, I'm telling you. Dave Filoni has been the chief lead creative for a while now. Ahsoka was his baby. He greenlit everything that's happening in the Acolyte. Yeah, Boba Fett. All of it, all went through him. Kenobi, all of it. Filoni has responsibility for it all. Um, who's a big uh, part of uh, uh, of uh, the Star Wars uh, universe now. We speak very often, and Kathy, Kathy Kennedy and Carrie Beck and Simon Emanuel. I mean, I think the team is is really um, taking time to, to make sure that we do justice to telling the story. Of you know, because we sure didn't take any time and we sure didn't do justice to the original trilogy. In fact, we destroyed them outright and on purpose. But with Ray, everyone's most hated character, we're really going to take the time to make sure that she gets the justice that she deserves. That is good to hear. That's of uh, Daisy and, and um, you know, I think that, sh that she stands for something. Um, oh. We've seen this... Oh, indeed she does. It's a wonderful journey she went on in episode seven, eight, and nine. And now it's like... Yeah, remember the journey she went on when she was perfect in the first one, got immediate control of force powers by taking it from Kylo's brain. Then the second one, she also had immediate control of her powers. And then the 
third when she ran an obstacle course for Leia and got the Sacred Jedi texts. But other than that, didn't really need it. She was great. So, yeah, quite the journey. Like on to the next adventure and how do Yeah, and the next adventure is going to be doing what Luke, that stupid cis white male, couldn't do in uh, the original movies. She's going to rebuild the Jedi Order. Um, and yeah, the this is, in fact, the first concrete information we've had about Ray's new Jedi Order. Um, dear God. Dear God, there's nothing to do except just go along for the ride because if you can't get out of it, get into it. Let me know what you think of this. Make sure to like, share, and sub. If you have done that, thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. And I'll be seeing you, making you very uncomfortable very soon with Ray Palpatine. All right. Well, bye. <laughs>